Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GMAT. We have been solving GMAT math problems out of this book here. The GMAT Review Official Guide 2015 edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. You will find that the math problems that are appearing in 2015 editions, uh, edition rather, are the exact same math problems that appeared in the 13th edition of the GMAT Review. Since we have already solved every single math problem from the 13th edition, I'm not going to redo the problems. I'm simply going to tell you where you'll be able to find the solutions to given problems. Today we'll look at all the problems, all the data sufficiency problems appearing on page number 286. On page 286 you will find problem number 119, 121 and 122. Solutions to those three problems were presented on day number 316. As you can see 120 is missing. Problem number 120 Problem number 120 was done on day number 314. So it's one, one more time, 119, 121, and 122, you will find the solutions to those three problems on day number 316. You will find the solutions to problems 123, 124, 125, and 126 on day number 318. Problems 127 and 128 were solved on day number 320. On day number 322, we did only problem number 129, only one problem. Similarly, on the next day, day 324, we solved problem number 130. And finally, on day number 326, we redid the problem, problem number 129 that was solved on day number 322. I redid it, and you will see the reason why when you watch the two videos, so that you can understand the reason behind it. Problem number 129, as I said, was redone on day number 326. You will find the solutions to all the math problems appearing in 2015 official guide. 2015 official guide from day number 251 through 375. Solutions to all the data sufficiency problems are presented on even number day and solutions to all the problem solving questions are on odd number day. Thank you.